Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwoosh.com, and I am actually here with Tom. Tom, welcome, Tom. How are you this evening? Good, good. So I'm here with Tom, and Tom has known me for a very long time, and Tom has been trading God like more years than I'm alive. How many years have you been trading, Tom? How many years are you alive? <laughs> <laughs> trading more years than I'm alive, but I could be wrong. It's close. It's pretty close. No, I mean, no, the first, the, I didn't even call them trade. They were investments. It was like 1981, 1982. So all right, just tell everybody a little bit about yourself. So you started out in the market and you thought you knew everything in the world and then you made millions of dollars in the boom. And then what happened? No, no, no! You missed. You missed. You, there, there, there were there were like six booms before that boom. Oh, okay. Um, this is before I. I haven't seen any booms, but so just tell me. <laughs> no, there, there were, there were, there were several booms. I, um, I mean, when I started out, I just wanted to, you, you know, I read about the mistakes that everyone else made, and so. I, you know, rather than focusing on doing something right, it was focused on, you know, what I don't want to do wrong. Okay. And um, so in in the early 80s, I, know, I you know, I went back and I studied the market and I noticed that it moved in four-year cycles and that the last significant low in, in the market was in 1978. So in 1982, I, you know, I became very convinced that we were making a... Um, an important cyclical low in the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only was I right, but I mean, it was an incredible lift off. I mean, uh, the, the, especially small stocks went up three, four, five hundred percent in a, you know, in a very short time. And back then everyone hated stocks, which just gave them more fuel to go higher. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate thing was as right as I was about that call, I mean, I was, I was pretty young. I got suckered into, you know, some kind of scheme that my broker had concocted with, you know, with options that, you know. Uh, so wait a minute, wait a minute. You weren't doing actual equity trades. You were doing options. No, no, no. I was doing options. Uh, uh, or, I'm sorry. I was doing stocks. I remember oh, the. Okay. I, remember, I mean, the funny thing is one of the stocks, um, it may have been the second one I ever bought trades to this very day. It's commercial metal CMC. CMC. Which, All right, let's look that up. Go ahead. Keep talking. Go ahead. Yeah, that that was that was you know had an incredible run. Now I, I was also told to you know that bottom fishing was the the, the way to go, and I, I mean and it can be. I mean, uh, but the oil sector was just crushed um, that year that had just gone through a boom. And uh, we picked up this little driller called Peninsula Resources. They eventually went out of business. Mm -hmm. But uh, and we had another one, MED. Uh, don't know whatever happened to them. I think it, it's a different company now under that symbol. Well, wait a but minute, that, wait a minute. Did you buy the stock here, the CMC? Yeah. Where? Where did you buy it? In 1982. I can't even see 1982. What price did you buy it? It was like 50. 15 bucks, 12 bucks, but you know, it's split so many times since then. Oh, it's probably, okay. you know, it, it, like it, if you held on to it, it was a huge, huge winner. I mean, it would spend years going sideways and, and then make another run up. And it's a metals recycling firm. And okay. it, it, it made another run higher. Um, now, but, the one uh, thing I want to point out, though, is you do, I know we're going to talk about the Oracle trade, but you do something that is completely different from me which is that you actually read or investigate the fundamentals of stocks, correct? The story, yeah, the story. Well, I mean, but there's a difference between a trade and, you know, a trade and uh, an investment. I mean, I'd rather do an investment and a trade because I can take some off from the trade and hold the rest for higher prices. And to me, investing is easier because if you're right, you don't have to do anything. Just, yeah, you know. but the bottom line is with training, and obviously this is why I'd like to do it and why I've always wanted to do it, and then I forced myself to do it, is that when you train, you have the money immediately. You don't have the money immediately when you invest. I mean, you're in a position where you don't need the money immediately, but let's be frank, most people are not in the same position as you. 
Well, it depends. It depends. No, it depends on their age, I guess. I guess. Well, you know, younger... no, I'm talking about whether they're old or young. If somebody doesn't have a lot of money set aside in a savings, they need no, the money every, right I mean, away. Everyone, everyone I know, uh -huh. and this kind of I mean, they they don't really do stocks. They, you know, through the the work programs that are available, they just invest in the market. You know. And I know, but money. I mean, we have to get outside of the range of people that you know. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I am 100% and no chance of failure, in my opinion, outside of the range of the people that you know. So, <laughs> I mean, most people, if you pull yourself back into the universe, do not want to wait to get paid money. Am I right or am I wrong? I mean, okay, here, here's a great example. Tom works for Walmart. When you get up in the I morning. Work for Walmart. Walmart's, I don't, I don't work for Walmart. But you work for Walmart part time. And when you work for Walmart, you go no, in there. No, 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 no. Walgreens. Oh, Walgreens. I'm sorry. God, why did I say Walmart? I don't even know where I'm getting that from. Anyways, Walgreens. I was close. The point is, you work for Walgreens. And every time I hear a story from you, it's always about the fact that on the day people get their social security checks or whatever it is, they come in and they spend it all. That is most of the people on the planet. I mean, you do realize that. Um, I mean, at least the people, the reason, the reason you and I like to trade is because we're willing to put the work in. <laughs> I can't believe now, I said Walmart. That's pretty funny that I said that. I've known you for so long. I knew it was Walgreens, but it, it's like an oxymoron. It was like a Freudian slip. That I said you've Walmart. said that Walmart before. I, Did I, I say that I, before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me it's, look at uh, WMT. Maybe I like the stock or something. Maybe it's like telling yeah, you something. Yeah, you told me once they're going out of business or something. All right, uh, let me go. <laughs> so I keep talking. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go on about the Walmart or the Walgreens, whichever one. The, anyway, most people do not. No, most people um, do not want to spend the time or the energy to trade. Period. I mean, le, even swing trading. Forget about intraday trading. They hold on to these things for 20, 30 years, and um, and, and for most people, that's the right thing to do. I mean, it takes. You know, really an extraordinary person to first to be willing to intraday trade mm -hmm. and then to be able to do so successfully. You got to, you know, be very quick on your feet and make decisions quickly. Now, let and me, let me, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am the complete 100% opposite of you. I think quick on my feet and you like have to take all the time in the world to do it. So what is the answer then for that? Well, okay, here's what... Because <laughs> that's true. I mean, you know there's, it's true. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of, there's a, um, um, there, there, okay, it, what, what, what happens is this, you will, you will often get better entries, although if I really like the play, I'll get the same entry, which was the case with Oracle, that word, you know, that we're talking about. No, wait, say um, that again. Say that again. I thought you told me that nobody gets better entries than me. Now you're taking that back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, that is often the case, not always the case. Okay. All right. All right. Be specific. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's pull up the Oracle. But, I mean, the only way, actually, the only way, and, and we'll go over it, the only way anyone would have gotten a better entry than you on Oracle that day is... And I kind of did. I mean, not a better, but it was the same. I used to limit order and got filled like 20 seconds later. Right. Is because if, if you would have had the order preset, I mean, Oracle opened and collapsed. And if you would have waited for the collapse, it would have been too late. But how could you predict that, though? That's the point we, I'm trying I to make. Can't. Yeah, can't. exactly. Yeah. And um, the, the, the other thing is, is generally, generally, not always, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, you will get a second chance in the entry. I don't know. This is where you and I have a fundamental disagreement. Although I will tell you that your text today, here, I'm going to read it out loud to the room or whoever's listening. Your text today actually said to me something. I was like, I have to put this in blood. You said, hold on, let me find it. 
Oh my God, where did you send it? You said today that I'm really good at the at the immediate entry. Where did you right. say that? Yeah, I, I can't find it. Maybe it wasn't an well, email. Well, I said it like six months ago. Oh, all right. Well, I can't find it now. I thought it was a text, but it might be an email. Right. But the, yeah, so then then I then you lost me. I'm always aggressive. You used to be I've actually turned you around. It's taken like a hundred years, but I've actually <laughs> turned you to depends, the point. It, I mean it's something we're gonna talk about, but it, it depends on the conviction. That's the key word. Um, but I mean so, this is the conviction conviction from what? Where are you getting the um, conviction? Um, where? Yeah. Um, I'm either getting the conviction from um, from the uh, earnings report, mm -hmm. um, and my conviction level on Oracle was pretty high. Uh, okay, here's where it opened. Our Oracle opened at forty one ninety one when it was in the pre market. When you there's a there's a there's a thing we're sort of getting ahead of ourselves here, okay. but Oracle I had forgotten about this. Oracle switched over to the New York Stock Exchange, and okay. It, it was still pre trading pre-market at 9.30, 9.30 and 9.31. It actually didn't open on the NYSE until 9.32. You can see it, the, the huge million share volume spike. That's when it actually opened on the New York Stock Exchange. All right, let me go here. That was the day of this day here. Okay. Go right, ahead. right there. Yeah. Keep talking. Go ahead. Say what, go with what you're saying. Yeah, because I remember that because there was another moderator that called it long that day. Um... 42, uh, 42, 15 by whatever that low was. All right, and explain it, oh, to people what you mean by another moderator, because nobody knows what well, you're Well, there's all about. kinds of other trading rooms, and there's another guy that I know that that's long, and I, he's often wrong on the opening plays. Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless, when it opened on, on that huge block of volume, you see that that bar was green for like three seconds, and it looked like it was going to This one here at 932. Yeah, yeah, that was had a big green body, and I'm like, oh no, but it didn't. It, it fell right down, and and then I knew we had it. We're pretty sure we had it. But where did you short it? Where did you actually take your entry? Because I took the entry aggressive, and then that's what you always are like. No, no, no. I don't want to be aggressive. I don't want to wait till ten o'clock. <laughs> I'm asking you, where did you actually enter Oracle, and where did you put the stop? Well, I okay. My initial plan with Oracle was, I mean, I was watching a trade pre-market. I was pretty sure that was the one I was going to do. All right, hold on. Let me bring up the pre-market. Where did you all of a sudden get the conviction? This is la at the night. This is oh, night, 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 night. Okay, here's this is what I tell me the price action and what when was it at night or in the morning that you got the conviction? Well, here's 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 the whole. You know, um, chronology of you know me and that the Oracle play. Oracle has a tendency to to fade the gap, and it actually ended up doing that this day. Um, no, wait a minute. No one knows what you're talking about. What do you mean fade the gap? Or Oracle tends to whatever way the gap goes, it tends to end up the day in the opposite. It's got a huge history of doing that. Like it gapped up three months ago and it sold off all day. And um, and the, one of the reasons for that is because it's one of these institutional favorites. They they like to buy it when it's down, and they like to sell it when it's up. And are you saying you feel like it's rigged, or what are you trying to no, say? No, it's here? not. It, no, 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 no. It's not rigged. Here's it's, a daily chart of Oracle. Like, give me an example. What do you what do you mean then? Um, like this day here, where it gap down here back in this is October two thousand. Yeah, that's that's one. And okay. um, what's the other another day? And, and over in it looks uh, what? Yeah, it looks like in March. March of this year? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, where? When, whenever it gapped over forty five. Oh, was it in January? Here, here. No, no, no. You yeah, were yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. March eighteenth. Yeah. March eighteenth. Uh, you know what, if I had rated this gap, this would have been right on the cusp. I mean, this would have been like not 100%. I see what you see well, here, we, like it could have done it. We actually played Oracle on that day in the room. I was, I was there and I recall, and I, I tried it, but I, you know, and this It was is, like right on the cusp. It was like, it was like right, I mean, this is weird. I will agree with you that, but 
It was like the reason the institutions do that, it's not because it's rigged. It's because it's because the liquidity is there where they can um, either get in or out of it. And um, these bigger names, they, they, you know, that aren't going out of business in, you know, in two years, they, you know, they like do you're this talking about Oracle. You're talking right, about Oracle, right. right? Okay, go ahead. Now, what I, I, I send out a short synopsis to some people on the way I think that Oracle's going to go. And what I, what I wrote on it is that it has a history of fading, but I think, I thought this was the real deal. And, and the re, the reason I wrote that is. Wait a minute. I, are you talking about the gap here or the gap here? Yes. You lost me. Yeah. The one in March. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Say what you're thinking. Well, that particular day, no, 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 I'm talking about the, the gap in March. I didn't like, okay. Uh, I thought, I thought it was okay. And we did it in the room. And when I think something is okay, I'll do it, but I won't do it with serious size, you know, and I, I have no expectations on it. You know, I'm happy to make a nickel. I have no idea why you'd ever take a trade with no expectations. You were like the opposite of me. I mean, it's like well, because, every trade I take, I take, I have a hundred percent expectation. Every trade you take, you're like, maybe, I mean, I don't understand <laughs> that. I mean, that's why well, I'm trying okay. to pull you well, over like to the side of like the hey, sun okay. where I'm trying to talk you into taking sides. I've been trying to do this example. for like the last here's, 100 years there, and you won't was, do it. But the reason is that and, and, and you emailed me the other day. You're like, I get 30 percent conviction from you. I'm like, wow, that's a hell of a lot of conviction, actually. And I talked about it in the room. And, and yet there's nothing that I can say that will make you take size. And of all the people that I have ever known and of all the people that I've ever traded, you could take size and you wouldn't be hurt. If you lost $2 million in that trade, you wouldn't be hurt. And I have no idea. What is it that you were going to get conviction and you're like, well, maybe. I mean, you have got, the, what is lacking from you? And I'm telling you this right now and I'm telling you this to help you. This yeah, is no, nothing I, know. I, can, I can tell you in one short sentence. What, what, probably, what? I probably want to avoid turning this into a real job. Um, what do you mean but, a real job? So then you're going to work for Walgreens or Walmart <laughs> for the rest of your life? No. I mean, why, what is your plan of action? Your plan of action is what? What is your plan of action? I'm asking this, you right this, now. It is it is 8.55 okay. this, on Monday this, night. I want to know your plan of action. This, um, this, what? This, wait a minute. We're, we got like six things going on here. I know, but uh, just answer one. This this gap here in Oracle where your pointer is, right? That was now the reason I did that with no expectations is it, it is. could have it could have continued. It surely could it have really continued. should have continued. It really should have. Let's see and, what the market did on that day. Hold on one second. Three eighteen. Let me just bring it up. Three eighteen. Because you know Oracle is a market stock. Let right. Me just, let me just look at the market. They, I mean, they reported that night, and it, the earnings. See, the earnings were okay. No, they weren't even okay. They were. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me just look at the market here because this is very interesting. The QQQs on three eighteen. Oh, see, this is wrong. It's really, really wrong. Look what the market did on three eighteen. No, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That's, yeah. that's the market. And let's go to the Oracle. Hold on. Let's go back. And you know, Oracle has gap down. Something's wrong here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at this now. You know, wait a minute. I'm just seeing this. Are you long this over in the long term or what? Oracle? Yeah. No. Okay. Because there's something wrong with this. And I'm just with seeing what? this now. Well, I'm just telling you right now that the day of the gap in Oracle and the earnings, it didn't go higher, but the market did. And this is a market stock. Yeah, you could have shorted it. <laughs> I know, I know, but again, I don't short bear bullish gaps. But I'm telling you the, that Oracle gap down here, this was just recently on the 18th. Yeah, that was the earnings day. Wait a minute. Hold on. Just hold on one second here. Oracle's lower. I, 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 know, I, I know, I know, I know. I just see this now. I just, this is like, I'm just seeing this now as I'm talking to you. Wow, that, this, this, hold on. This gap here gapped up 
high was 4310. Wow, I think Oracle is really, Oracle's <laughs> still in an uptrend, but I think Oracle is lower now that I just I saw that too. when you think that, yeah. I mean, I thought about it the gap day, but it, you know. But it was too, not enough information. You just play the gap. It was still in an uptrend, but I'm just seeing that now with the market and then the gap down that just happened a couple of days ago. I'm seeing that and I'm like, that's a sign. Because that's not right, actually. I'm just looking at this here. You're, are you in this overnight or, or not? No, 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 no. But I did notice the weakness today. Um, the thing, I, I want to go over why I had more conviction than normal on Oracle. It was because. I mean, on these bigger companies. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm, gonna, I'm bringing it up. This is the 18th. Let's go. Let's right. go to what you did. Okay, go ahead. Right. The, the institutions they can be more forgiving, you know, on a minor miss on, on earnings, and they often in, a, in an uptrending market, they'll view these gap downs as opportunities to get a great company cheap. Right. But you know, Oracle has missed their numbers like every quarter for the last year. Well, that's yeah. that's something that I don't have anything to do with, and I never right. look at. Right. I, I've got to ask you though. I mean, I'm just asking this on the video, but I actually this, never have asked this. Was you this was the worst. This was the worst miss yet. Really. And, right. And so. Go ahead. My thinking is, at some point, these institutions are going to say, you know, the old saying, "Fool me once." You know, uh, shame on me, fooled me twice, fooled me three times. This is try number four. You know, I think they're going to lose their patience with it. And, uh, you know, I think it is going to go down, uh, you, you know, probably to 39 anyway. And then um, then we'll see. Um, my plan with Oracle on, on uh, the day of the gap was I wanted to short it at 42.50, and take it down to 41, but, but about 15 minutes before the open, it collapsed. And that plan was out the window. And so you, just, you had to take it where it opened. And, you know, we had uh, we had a nice play on it. Um, even even though, you know, it ended up, you know, green on the day. Um, but I mean, you're, you're, it's, I'm, I'm, where did you really enter this? Because I'm I'm surprised that you would be as aggressive as me because you're normally not. I guess that's I'm surprised you would be as aggressive. No, 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 no. Okay. Here's here here's here's what I do most days. Most days. But but the conviction level varies. Okay. And what I try to do is focus on the best available play. Um and I'll vary the size uh, accordingly, um, but usually by probably no later than 9:35, I'm in something. Now here's we're here's we're gonna we're gonna you know have a it's not a difference of opinion I guess a difference of attitude okay. is you, you you go in with full expectations on on most plays and and actually I will feed off of that too. To an extent, um, but I generally go into a play with limited expectations. Um, but I mean, and then I don't understand where. How can you feel my, positive? My ultimate, my ultimate expectations is mm -hmm. when I get into a play, mm -hmm. I'm not selling it no matter what. I don't care what it does during the day. And uh, and I have a I have a few of those. That, I mean, if you want to pull up TBI, Tom Boy Indian, I've had that since the day of the gap. You didn't need, I mean, it But I mean, go back to what you're talking about, about it, the fact that you have no expectations, like you lost me there. Okay, okay. Look look at AMBA today. This this gap down. I'd have done this today. All right. Uh, let me just look at it because I don't even know what it is, but let me just look. Okay. Hold on, my chart's just left. Now, first of all, I'm going to look at the pre-market. Nine fifteen, nine o'clock, one fifteen, eighteen eighty. Hold on. See, this is a problem. This is where it was gapping in the morning. So, if you're rating the gap, you're gapping. You're rating it here. 
Now I know yeah. it got better yeah. into the open, but you're trading it on then on the fly. Yeah, I know on, on the rating, this would have not rated well on, on what you do, but I thought it kind of went climactic on the daily I had it. It's just huge. Yeah, it did. I mean, it did, but I mean, you can't be aggressive and so I, on this. I, I, you know, so I thought a lot of people, and, and this is what I mean. I, I didn't have, wouldn't have had any expectations on it, mm -hmm. but if it fell 10 bucks, which it did, you, know, you got some. Let me just see here. Did you actually short this? No, because my I was on the phone with Realtek trying to fix my platform. It wouldn't let me log in. But I was watching it. You know, and then and then what happens to me is that, you know, I get, you know, a so-so a, a day on, you know, on kind of what probably would have ended up being, because this stock is, I was long this stock two days ago. That's why, I know, you know, I kind of know it. I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, well, I mean, I got to tell you that this bar today is actually pretty devastating for the stock. Yep, 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 sure is. Oh, but it, it's going to be to support, like, re real quickly, re like, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but, and, you know, and, Melissa, this is another one. I, it, see if I can see it. Uh, I did this the day of, oh, there it is, on June 3rd. June 3rd, I, I did this. Uh, that little no what yeah there I did this that day on the gap and I sold some into that tail and I kept some mm -hmm. and that's what I mean no expectations but then all of a sudden it takes off you know and I sell some more but this is I, where the gap rating would help you because to be honest with you I wouldn't have thought this was anything fabulous like yeah, I know but I absolutely love the earnings I know but this is where you could combine the earnings with the gap rating Right, I do that every day. I do that every day. All yep. right, all right. What was the reason for the gap today? I, I never could find anything. Some some big short seller said it's it's worth sixty bucks, and he short the stock. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I, I I I was I was really you know harried this morning because I couldn't log in. You know, I could not log in until nine. You know. Well, supposed to do anything then it's like it's like a sign a sign to just take had I, had I had i done the room today I, mm -hmm. this is the one i would have done because the other gap was mu and it went straight up i, I know but this. you know most of the people in the room are not going to short stocks at this price point i mean that's the problem i mean this is, ten shares. this is expensive but i mean let me just look at the stop here well it would have probably been a dollar yeah. See, what you're looking at right now, you see that so much better and so much faster than I do. I mean, it just takes longer for my brain to process. I think that is a result of what? Like, what's the explanation for that? Why does my brain what's, work faster than yours? Genetics? You have a faster brain. No, your brain is the same as mine. <laughs> no, no, I think... I think you drink the... too much tea or something to that effect. <laughs> Now, honestly, your brain has the same capacity as mine. So it, what is well, it? It even has more capacity, but it is not as fast. You think you know? my brain has more capacity? That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I should like, I should not actually like tally up all the nice things you said to me the last month and like me. put it my, on as a testimonial. My, huh? see, my, my brain is built for power. Right. So, and what I meant was mine had the greater capacity. Your brain is built for speed. Right. What's and your point the, though? <laughs> they're just different brains. It's not. It's, they're, they're meant for different things. I know, but I'm telling you, speed is king when you're trying. I, well, I, don't, disagree. <laughs> I don't disagree, but you know, what are you gonna do? Give me cocaine or something every morning? I, just... I, I tell you, if I ever start to do cocaine, they're gonna have to lock me up because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would be actually dangerous on cocaine. Like, don't ever even slip me any cocaine. Yeah. Like, I've known that for years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but all right, let's just look at this here. <laughs> at 109, where did it go? Wow, that did go $9. I, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. This smoothest kind of thing. Well, it just sold off straight like a banshee. It just fell off a cliff. Yep. Well, I mean, we're getting into the, to the 30 minute point here. I mean, is there anything that you think you could tell new traders to help them 
if they're looking into trading gaps? I mean, what advice in all the years of experience that you've had in trading gaps could you give to someone that's brand, brand new that never traded gaps, never traded my system? Like what advice could you give that person? It's a, it's a combination of what, of what you and I just discussed. Not, not everything works and you, you have to be aware of that, mm -hmm. but, but you do need the conviction. Otherwise you're not going to get into the play. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the, I mean, I think this is as hard as for me as it is, you know, for you mm -hmm. is when something actually does not work. Yeah. Um, you, you know, you look at it in almost disbelief because you can't understand why it's not why it's going against the best laid plans you could have possibly have had. And that's but if just, it doesn't work and you have a stop in, you only lose one risk unit. Correct, but you know, but as we've done from time to time, mm -hmm. there is the human, you know, the the human nature part of us that that likes to fight back at adversity. But as you know from experience, <laughs> you, cannot do, you cannot do that with trade. No, you can't. You can, I mean, this is what I've learned from the experience of the umpteen years I've had. I mean, it you cannot move a stock. You can want it to go and want it to go and want it to go. You can't you can't make it happen. Right. Right. And and you know, and you just you have to move on. You, yes. I mean, all the all the, the the one we did the other day, um I I um and I almost was going to do this one over, um, Which? over Oracle and, and I was the only one that did it. And, and, and your, I mean, and I had a thesis laid out for this and it was your point system that sort of edged me into it. Right. And it was LZB lazy boy. It was and, too thin though. The problem was it was way too thin. Yeah, it was kind of thin. Um, you know, and, um, and uh, I mean, I did it the, once and it had a little pop and I got out of it it essentially break even but then it set up again so I did give it a second chance and and that turned out to be the right thing to do um I, you know I see and I had I mean I like to have a two-pronged belief going into the gap not only the you know I want the gap and the chart and I, I thought with lazy boy I thought we had a a third even a third effect or a third prong that would uh, spark some fear into people holding the stock. Mm -hmm. And that was the Fed was meeting that afternoon. Uh -huh. And Lazy Boy is related to home building. And I thought anything which is related to interest rates. Mm -hmm. And there was fear that the Fed could start raising rates, and uh, which is bad for this sector. So Listen, I think you should write my blog because I don't have time to do it. And you talk about things that no one is interested in, like as far as like most people are interested in, but I'm not interested in. But I will tell you that the great thing about you is that you look at these things that I have no time to do. But you know what's so funny? Well, like stop, most... stop just for a second, Melissa. That's, that's the difference okay. between a fast brain and a slow brain. What do you mean? My slow brain goes through all this stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, and you're more of a gap and go kind of girl. I, you know, I'm like, we have this and we have this and we have this and you lay yeah. it all out this should really but work. i do have that in the morning when i'm reading the gap do you understand like i'm deprocessing that slowly from the time that i roll out of bed which is way before you even blink an eye and i am looking at the gap and reading the gap so that is my slow process do you understand the difference right right right, right. and you're very good at that yes yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes yeah yes um um but um you know, and, I've, I've, and I still do. I still think that the two of these combined together is... Um, the two of what? The, the two of where you're just looking at the chart and I'm looking through what I would write in a blog is, is pretty good. You know, the combination of the two. But I'm never going to do it. You do realize that. <laughs> I don't have to. I'm already you realize doing that I'm never going to look at anything other than price action and read no, it in a lifetime. I mean, you should realize that by now at this point. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is I've already done it. Uh -huh. So you only have to ask one question. Do you like this? And if I say yes, then I've gone through all that. But when I, what you said to me 
other day, I was like floored when you said that you get 30% of your conviction from me. I was like, wait a minute, write a testimonial. Because that I mean, was, that might have been just a number, but it certainly Well, doesn't. I mean, whatever. I mean, it was like, that's like pretty high, actually. I was well, you're good. you're good at what you do. And that's been true for a long, long time. Yeah. A long, like, like, like years and years. You used to send me these little email things. <laughs> uh, a and B is good, and uh-huh. and I and I have this great play on A and B. This was the first one that you ever sent me. This and this I don't even work. remember this. How can you remember this stuff? It's the capacity thing again. Um, what but, did I say? What's that? What was it? What did I say? What were you gonna say? You sent me this like four letter email. A and B is good. Uh huh. And. And I had a great day in AMD, but it rallied first. Not, uh, not a lot. Mm-hmm. And to this day, I, we've talked about this before, and I've never understood why when I emailed you back, how did you do an AMD, you wrote me back another four-word email uh-huh. that said AMD annoyed me. And th- this was um, at least this was three, four years ago in September. Okay. Um, you know, and I, I mean, that's, it's no big deal. I just always wondered why AMD annoyed you, you know, that particular, and I actually think you've gotten better that day. I think that kind of pop that AMD had that day, I think you would have been in it and not, uh, and not been stopped out of it because you you give your, your, uh, your positions a little bit more breathing room than you used to. I absolutely do. But the room has helped with that. Hmm. That's, that's interesting because, um, I mean, what you said about, you know, either the play is going to work uh, or if it stops out, it never, it, you know, uh, it, it, it will never work. And I, I, I've seen that true. I, I can't think of a, I can't think of one exception to that. That, that I mean, I remember there was one that you did twi- uh, twice, um, which was Cenex, and it, uh, th- this was earlier in the year and it never worked. Uh, coach never worked again. I mean, no, if they don't work that off of that, they will, they don't work. Mm-hmm. Um, I've definitely gotten better. I mean, it's been seven years, but I would consider myself an expert now in reading that first five minute period where I actually have to sometimes hold myself back or I just hammer it. But it's such an instantaneous thing, Tom, that I don't even know like what I see. Like, no, I sense it. I, I sense it when you sense it. It's it's, God, it's, it's like I, I can I can feel it. I can feel it through. It's like Adobe. You know. I mean, I didn't even do this thing. I mean, did you do the I, trade? Yeah, I I looked at that. I looked at that. Ah, I can't yeah, believe yeah, yeah, they yeah, called yeah, yeah. Adobe when the, it had gone into the previous day's bar. I called that trade like I was. That was like magical. I should have been on television when I called that trade. Where was I here? Here, the 17th. But look at this here today. See, that was the problem. Look at this. I mean, I'm not surprised. But anyways, the 17th. Let's go. Did you do it? On my call? Did you do it on my call on the 17th? Yeah, the the Adobe play. Yeah, did you do it? Yeah, that was good. That, that was, was like good. an unbe- that was like what the heck? I mean, I was like. I, me- I remember you said Adobe can't get through eighty. I'm gonna call it. I I like don't even. I mean, like there it is. That's it, pretty amazing. It wasn't even gapping when I called it actually, because it had rallied. No, it was already no. It had already gone. It already filled the gap. I know, and this was like an enormous R trade. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Did you do it? So you did it. You're saying you did it. No, that was the LZB day. That was an LZB. Oh, all right. Okay. I guess, well, you know, I could, you keep saying someone could just do all my calls and actually I could. I know. I I want you to be that person. I want you to be like that person that does every single solitary thing that I call and then because you would be the one with your personality to come back at the end of the month and say, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, and this is the result. Because you track those things, and I have no... I don't really track them. I just rem- I just remember them. I know. I could care less because every day I get up and I have amnesia. 
and I just <laughs> I literally do. You know, Every you say, day you I have amnesia. That, but, you say that, but there are some things. You, you remember what I said. You remember? You, it's no, that, I have amnesia with the trains. Right, I'm talking right, about. right, right. Yeah, whether they're good or bad, I have amnesia. But I'm saying that you, you yourself, could do everything, and you've got the buying power in your, in your account. You could do like every single solitary thing I called, including the market, by the way. Yeah, I, I just, I just. Um, this is like crazy. This is the best entry you're ever gonna get in Adobe for the rest of your life. I mean, to take a thirty some cent stop in that and have it drop a dollar. This is this is a very expensive stock, and it's so whippy, and it actually just sold off like a banshee. My conviction told me this would work, but the fact is the gap rating told me it wouldn't. But I called the trade based on conviction. See, and you know the blog that you asked me to write, right, which right. I did write, which I did write on Adobe the night before. Right. I had Adobe initially lower and then higher, and it just scrambled my brain when it went higher and then lower. No, it, it was if this had gone lower than higher, it would have flipped. And like today, I mean, look at this here today. Look at this. Where did the market close today? I'm gonna look. And then I do have to get going because you know it's like ten minutes past my bedtime. But let me just look here. Okay, okay, farmer girl. I know. No, that, oh, the market a, was they, they, uh, they have a website out now for girls like you. What's it called? Farmersonly.com, where all the country girls are. I know, but do you really think that I need to be associated with that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that it's actually going to get me viewership on the television show? Teasing you. The I know, girls are pretty, though, that they have on the side. But. I know, but I'm looking at big time here. All right, yeah, market's neutral, neutral slash bullish for the close today. All right, well, this was really, really good. We we're going to have to absolutely 100% do this again. I think this will be helpful for people. I appreciate you giving your insights on things that I do not look at but that many traders probably do look at, or investors per se. Do you have anything else you think you want to add tonight? Well, just the FNSR on Friday was... Did you do it? Yeah. Oh, all right. And I, was, I didn't even have the darn gap, and, and you had it, called it, and it was wow. nice. That was insane, it went to the dream target. 1950, I mean, if I, I make this stuff it, up, I couldn't make this stuff up. I said 1950, it went to 1955. Did it three times Friday. That's a ridiculousness. Ay, 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 ay. These are the trades I look back and say, why didn't I make a million dollars? I don't know. You always ask me that. I'll say this one last thing and I'll let you go. What was the one thing you said to me? You said to me, what if you actually get what you want? Or something like that. Or what was it you said? Well, when did I say it? No, you said, be careful what you wish for. You might get what you want. But you right. know what, Tom? I have wished for things, and I've gotten what I wanted. What do you have to say for that? Well, a lot of people do that. It's just most people tend to enjoy the road to get to what they want rather than actually getting it. And, okay, so what's your point? Well, that was it. Oh, wait no, a Well, and the other thing, a lot of people, you know, will wish for something and then get it. And, and finds out it is not what they had expected at all. And yeah, but what does it have to do with me? Well, I don't know, nothing. It was just a, it's a- No, you were advising a, me when you gave me the advice, or so I thought. Actually, the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole phrase goes, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. That's, that's the way it's- Yeah, but I've gotten it, now what, now what? Well, is it working out? So far. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, hey, by the way, do you know, do you know what I mean when I say that I'm enjoying watching you? Go no, further? no, I have no idea except for I'm like, I'm like, I need to like put these in like a towel, tablet or something to like put them in blood because I think that you've said the nicest things you've ever said to me in the last 100 years and the next time you argue with me, I'm going to resend to you in an email everything nice you've said to me in the last yeah, but it's all still true. It would all still be true. It, I mean, if, I, if we disagree on something, it doesn't take it doesn't take back any nice things that I say. I don't take I don't say things that I would. The only time I ever get mad at you is when you're saying mean things, though. <laughs> I, 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 I've never said. Well, I shouldn't say never said anything mean. It's yeah. 
ye, there are times you have once or twice before really gotten my ire. Uh, but that's I mean, because I'm actually forcing you to like, I'm in your face. I'm in right. your face about something. Like, take more size. This no, is no, ridiculousness no, it's not, it's, or whatever it's, it's, the case um, may be. But it's still the same concept. I'm in your face. You're, you're, you're not, there's, there's two things that, that trigger. First, it has to be something I disagree with right. anyway. Then two, I have to be tired. And then, and then what, every once in a while you will be angry. And then it, it, that's like the magic ingredient for, <laughs> you know, us having a sick It is, it is. I did somebody, been, I was talking about someone, not, this, what, go ahead, what? It's it's not just me being nice to you. It's right. you're being nice, and I'm reflecting off your niceness. It's it's. But uh, I'm it, nice it's a large percentage of the time, though. What's that? But I'm nice a large percentage of the time. Um. Yeah, I mean it. You. you, you, <laughs> you you're like you you're have, like. Wait a minute. Let me think you know, about that. Know, we we had we we. We uh, you're, you're doing the opposite of we, we have this cat, we still have him, and we rescued him from like certain death 10 years ago. What? And when we rescued him, he was like the nicest cat ever, but once he became back to a normal cat, he was yeah. like as neat as can be. And wait, you still have this cat? Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. So then what? My, my wife ran over his tail with the car five years ago, and his name is now Nub. But oh, uh, god. But he's still he's still here. He's with us. And his, Wait a you know, minute. What does this cap have to do with me? <laughs> well, he did the he, you, you did the opposite of you. You were when you were struggling. You were you know angrier and more emotional and more tearful. Yeah. That wasn't always the easiest to have to deal with as you know as a friend with another. Oh person. my God! I lost friends in that period. What are you talking about? So, but now that you are doing well, you've become nicer and nicer and nicer. The opposite of a cat is what I'm saying. So what's your point, though? You've become nicer and nicer and nicer. But what's your general, what's the tip for people? Oh, uh, well, it's nothing to do with you and me. Um, the, the point, the tip for people was, you know, to, things don't always work out. And yeah. you don't want to fight a stock because it will fight back. Um, you know, and there's always another day. I mean, if something doesn't work one day. That's a great tip. That's a great tip for traders, which you used to tell me and I never listened to you, but it's a great trip. It's, I mean, it's a great tip because the fact <coughs> is that on and on and on, I would, I would trade if I didn't like something or if I would fight it, I would fight it till four o'clock. And you always told me you, there's always another day. But you, yeah, you know, and I'll say that too. And, and really it's, it's, it's. It's really not be nice to Melissa Day. I'm just talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I told you, put those texts you sent me in a testimonial. You keep texting me. I'm like, write a testimonial. But, you, you know, when you had to, you were often a great fighter, too. I mean. Um, I know. You used to call me a warrior. Yep. 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 And actually, mm -hmm. you know what the irony is? Like, my broker. It's almost like my broker would give me anything I asked for because my broker, my broker like believes that I'm a warrior. Like my broker has seen me come back from tremendous lost days and like almost to the point of insanity. Like my broker yeah, I mean, could write a book on me. You know, and, and that's a great trait. <laughs> it's a great trait to have on, a, yeah. on occasion, but it's not a good way to live. No, that's, my God. Was like during that period, I was like going insane. Like, thank God I'm not living in that period. Like, I could never go back to that. Please, I can never go back to that. And what you just said that that is kind of why I don't want to take enormous size. And that to me, no, is no, no. I'm gonna say this 
just one last thing and then I have to go. I'm telling you right now, you're holding yourself back. You could be making more money. You're not doing it. You're in fear about it. I don't know what the issue is. You know you know how to trade. You have me on your side. I'm calling the trades. 30% conviction you're getting from the trades. FNSR with the size that you could take. I'm taking more risk now than you and you have a bigger account than me and I got to tell you this right now. I'm telling you this because I love you. You need to consider that. There's something in you that's holding yourself back and you're in fear. You're in fear of the risk. You're in fear of losing. You're in fear of the market. And I'm telling you right now, I'm taking more risk than you and I'm making more money in these trades than you and I'm taking more risk than you and there's something wrong with that. You have a bigger trade in the account than me and I, you have been trading with me as long as me and you see the trades I call and you believe in me and I don't know why you're not doing them with more risk. That's very well said, actually. Every bit of it is was was very, very well said. I'm saying Part this just is, to I help you. I'm not saying this to critique you. I'm saying no, this no, to no, help no, you. No, 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 Because you can quit that job at Walmart. <laughs> you know, I kind of like going. I mean, I'd like to cut back a day. But I know, but I'm just saying in general, in an ideal world, you wouldn't work that job at all. Yeah, yeah. But then then I'd have to hire three girl assistants here to help me. Which well, I guess I whatever. You, you triggered <laughs> Melissa, we got to do this again. I know, we do. Thank you, everyone, for coming this evening. Thank you, Tom. This is Tom. Tom occasionally helps out in the live trading room. And I'm, do I'm doing that tomorrow, right? Yes, Mama? you are. And Tom is 100% different from me in his actual speaking and calling to the trades, but he has a great eye for charts because he's been trading for a long, long time. And I will say that Tom is very conservative in reference to his risk. So that is actually a good thing for the trading room. Thank you, Tom, so much for coming this evening. All right, Melissa. All I'll right. See you. Have, see you a, have a good night. <laughs> you too. Okay, okay. bye-bye.